I am a gentleman and welcome to the Gentleman's Pixel Club. Today I have really accessorised to be dressed for the game that we are doing. I have a British hat because this game is set in Britain and I'm wearing an old t-shirt which says old school retro gamer because this is indeed an old game that we're playing. So this is a viewer request and we are playing Robin of the Wood on the Mr. FPGA recreating the 128k spectrum. If you enjoy the content we do, please consider a like, share, subscribe and comment. It really does help us grow. In a moment, we're going to flip to the game screen and I'm going to be quiet because there's something I just want you to listen to before we start the main event. And you may not have been able to make out what it said there, but that was a really, really example of speech on the ZX Spectrum. There's not many games that have speech. We had the Caramark speech unit that did give you a few games. And as it's talking in the background, as I say, you know, it's not particularly great, it's not particularly good, but it's there. And it was done not using any special hardware. So we're gonna hit zero to start the game and it will probably talk again. Well, it didn't talk, it just gave us a strange laugh as we've been hit immediately by this board. So this is us, Robin. I've not played this before and I'm being beaten the hell up by the, those boars or whatever they are. This game was a request. Oh, damn it, just die. This game was a request to, to play one of the viewer's requests. And, you know, I think I'm getting my butt kicked from left to right. He's waving his sword around, but he's not able to do much with it. Oh, did I hit you? Can I hit you? What? In the, oh, yes, look, look. It changes colour. Oh, it's running away. I think it changes colour as it gets hurt. Because it's red now. Was it red before? This is a very odd game. I've not played, as I say, Robin of the Wood before. You know, I really haven't. But maybe I can kill whatever that is. No, he killed me. Well... That wasn't a very good start. I can't even see my life on the screen. And that was a really, really quick game over. I'm going to assume that I can't actually kill those boars. So let's hit zero to start again. Odin Graphics did some great games. I will always remember Nodes of Ye Sword. Oh, oh, you start in a different place. Oh, that's it. I'm now being shot at by, by, by the, uh, the sh Sheriff of Nottingham's men. You know, where the hell do I go? Can I go this way? Can I run past him? Oh, this is a bit confusing and chaotic. I need a weapon. You know, I've got this stick thing, this sword thing that does me no good. Maybe I can kill those better than what I killed the boar. Yes, I can. Oh, thank the maker. That shows that I wasn't as shit as I thought I was. And I actually couldn't kill the boars while I was waving my sword to the left, to the right. Um, like, like the madman I was, unable to kill them. But I was trying to kill something that I couldn't. Right, let's go back and murder you. Because you are shooting me and you can die. Yeah, oh, this is much better. Alright, so that's what I get when I try and start the game. And I try and kill people that I can't kill. I find this a little bit confusing to have a look at though. And you know, although we're playing Spectrum full screen, there's a lot of space that's effectively not used at the bottom of the screen, as you can see there. There's nothing I can do about that. Um, but, you know, the, the, the maze, the map, doesn't look very clear on where to go. So, yeah, there's a, oh, he shoots me, there's a gap there. But these sprites are really big and chunky, and, and, and they're quite cute for what they are. And, yeah, they actually move quite fast as well. We had other games on the Spectrum that came with interesting big sprites. You know, I think Heavy on the Magic was one, Tarnan Nog, if that's how it's pronounced. I can't remember the exact name of it. So, you know, as the games evolved, we, we did move to big, big, chunky sprites. I do like little pixel games myself. I've said this um, before when we've played games like Load Runner and stuff like that. The small little animated graphics are really good, but there's nothing wrong with these. There's nothing wrong with these. 
So let's head this way. And as I say, Odin did some, you know, really, really good games. And I think for the moment, and I know I've only just started this game, and I've not played the... Oh, oh you bastard. Ah, oh, right, I understand. Look, my health is changed colour. So that red stuff at the bottom is my health, and I've lost some more. So let's go and hit you. Oh, yeah, yes, I've got you. Good. All right, so my, my, my health is shown by whatever the hell that is at the bottom of the screen. And being red, it's probably going to be quite bad. But yeah, they, they, they did nodes of use sword, and I think they did arc of use sword, which was a follow-up. And I did play those a lot, and I think for the moment... My gut is thinking, oh, I probably preferred those more. But this is early days in Robin of the Wood. And Robin of the Wood is almost dead as he gets shot again and again and again. The, the, those missiles, are, those arrows are quite hard to avoid. And clearly blue, blue is the end of the forest path for Robin as he's dead. So game over. We're going to hit zero to start again. We're going to keep playing this and learning as we go. What we haven't got which is what I would have probably liked, if I could be honest here, is a little percentage to let us know how far we've explored through the... Oh, oh no, 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 we started with those bloody boars. All right, let's ignore that. Oh, shit, there's one up there as well. And they're persistent. Look at that, they're persistent in... They, they appear where they were previously on the screen. All right, that's useful to know for enemies. Oh, what the bloody blazes? Why is this... What is this? Land of the boars? Honestly, this is, this is not right. Right, let's keep running away from them. Right, there, there's dead ends here. You know, we're, we're either surrounded by guards or we're surrounded by boars. Uh, dead end there, can't go through there. So we take big chunky Robin with his flowing locks, Robin of the Wood, back and we're going to head all the way to the left. I think we're going to keep heading down as much as possible. Uh, try and stay away from the boars that I believe to be above us. Look, notice that narrow skill that I avoided bullets, I think, or arrows. Oh, and that, that is absolutely awful when, when, when you end up effectively near a sprite because these sprites are so big. When it hits you, you know, you, you're kind of very, very much dead. We've played other games with big sprites as well on the Spectrum, like Angels, and that's a great game uh, to play. That really, That's a really good game, actually, in terms of what they've done. And, you know, times have moved on, times have evolved, but, you know, it, I don't feel... Ha I'll be honest, I've got to be honest, I don't feel my happiest playing this it is a recommendation to play to have a listen to the speech which we've done we've heard a little bits of but you know it's a little bit difficult to fight those enemies and uh, sh and, and that is really off that is absolutely not fair where they can walk onto a screen shooting you before you could see them right you're dead no you're dead now no you're not dead you are dead now you know it feels like poor old robin here has got everything stacked against them. And where they can appear, the enemies randomly off screen, or I don't know if it's random, but they can appear off screen and just take you out so easy. That's not right. All right, so I'm assuming I'm going the right way. Oh, I have picked up some arrows. That will do me no good whatsoever because I don't have a bow. But if I can find a bow, maybe, 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 I can even the odds a little bit. So let's go up here. And we're going to keep going left. You know, the, the graphics, although... As I say, this isn't my, my, my favourite game that I've played. I've got to be honest, it's not my favourite game. The graphics, you know, for the forest are actually quite pretty. You know, look at the detail they've done in that tree as well. So it's not as if they absolutely haven't tried. But we have been spoilt by foresty type games that, you know, we could think of... Far, oh, nah, 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 but, ah, damn it. You see, that that is shit where they will come on and they'll constantly be shooting you like that. We've been spoilt by foresty type games like Saber Wolf, like Fire Lord... Um, you know, I suppose Wizard's Lair uh, to some extent as well, which means that, you know, if you're going to be running around in an environment like this, it has really got to be something very, very special. But again, this was a request, as I said. And if you enjoy uh, the, the content we make and you want to request games, there is a community tab that if you choose to, you can actually use to request games and you know i'll reply to those and what i do is when i've actually completed the request i'll leave a heart there so i know it's closed um it takes a while for some of these videos to actually be shown so this particular video that i'm making i don't know the the, the air date of this but for reference this is actually recorded on the 2nd of july 
2022 and in one of the uh viewers comments so not viewers comments in one of the channel update videos i explained how the backlog of videos work how we cycle them how we control them just to ensure that you know we always have content available i do a bit of traveling for my job and i'm not always in a position to be able to be making videos so there is a, a backlog there is a little bit of history of them just to ensure that you know what i do do you know, it means that we can have daily content almost where possible, right? You're dead, thank God. And look, there's more arrows there. I can't get to those damn arrows, though. So, yeah, a little frustrating on the gameplay here. We're lasting a long time. I, you know, as I said earlier, I would have liked to see the percentage of the amount of forest I've explored. We've killed a few people. It doesn't even give you a score. So, you know, I, 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 I feel this is going to sound this is going to sound a little bit disrespectful. I can't even pick that up. I guess it's because I've got arrows. Oh, that is just shit coming on the screen like that. I, and I can't even get to you because of the dead end, but you can shoot through the wall um, and he's dead. So it's going to sound disrespectful, but this to me, this to me feels a little bit like a tech demo. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful here, but yeah, it feels like a tech demo of a game that isn't quite all the way there. But anyway, let's have another go. And we're going we're gonna to try and get a bow and arrow uh, with the arrows so I'm gonna hit zero to start and as I say the, the, the Odin have got to be applauded for what they've tried with the speech you know it's not as if they, they they haven't tried oh we're in the land of the bloody boars again oh and look at that boars and guards oh no two boars this time and that's not fair where the boars don't kill the guards right damn it just die right he's gone okay so let's go down here oh more boars more guards you know, we're, we're absolutely outnumbered with the flourishing, murdering bastards in this... Oh, 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 look at this. What what in God's name is going on? We've got a guy pointing to the left, and he sent me to jail. Oh, well, at least we're seeing something new here. Right, oh, look. This is a bit different. So, oh, no, 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 away from, away from this. As much as I said, this is a tech demo, as I hit these people with my sword and wipe them out. You know, all they've got to do is add a visible score that I can at least see. And, you know, some form of visible progression. And, you know, my, my, my feelings for this changed, actually, immediately as soon as I hit this the, this dungeon part. You know, clearly we've got to escape, I guess, through that door. But we now have to explore the dungeon. And this is nice. Not so nice for the guard that's had a, a sword on its head. You know, you have to question that these guards, why, why would they leave me with my, with my sword? You know, ah, oh, yeah, because they could shoot me off screen like the cheated bastards they are. All right, come on, die. Yeah, but why would they leave me with a sword? It's going to mean that somehow, some way, I'm going to escape this. Whether I should have already had a key or collected something, I truly, truly don't know. Oh, oh speak of keys, there is the key. Right, can we go through that door? Hello? Can we go through it? Hold fire. Oh shit, I've been shot again off the screen. Well, I can't go through that door, but can I run and get that guard? In fact, what the fuck is shooting me? Really? Is that... Is there, is there a glitch or something to the left? Or is it shooting through the wall? Is there an arrow thing there? Yeah, you can see a little pixel of a little sprite on the left as it's attacking Mr. Robin that we have here who is being pummeled by arrows. Right, let's ignore you. And if we keep going this way, maybe we can go up and come from behind. But I don't, I, I can't use my key. Um, you know, I guess it's automatic that you could use these, but I, I'm not getting very far with it. So let's bash you over the head. Eventually, it's a pity I can't pick up their armor. And look, this looks like you could go down effectively south if you look at it. This is a northeast southwest type game. But you can't. All right, two dead soldiers there. All right, I just want to see whether they're persistent. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to go up and are their bodies still going to be there? Yes, they are. All right, well, that's nice. That is nice that it does that. It's not nice on shooting me with with, with glitches in the walls that I can't see. That really is a, a bit out of order. But hey-ho, you know, we accept where we are. So let's go all the way to the right here. You go all the way up here. Oh, this looks a bit different. Let's go down here and keep going down here. I'm looking at the yellow when I said, oh, this looks a bit different on the bar. Oh, damn it, damn it, fuck it. That, that's really out of line. I get hit by a bullet, but you're getting hit by that bullet, as you saw there, 
three times and that really is shit awful and not right but we're gonna have one final go of this because i do like the dungeon area that we found here uh, that, that we accidentally found so you know let, let's do it one more time just to see whether we come across another area that is pretty to have a look at because it's not all about completing the games because you know i can be pretty damn awful at trying to complete some of these games but it's all about exploring having a bit of fun and you know this is fun to see what new areas we could have i've got no idea as i say because there's no indication of score the only indication we've got is health which we can assume is probably okay because uh, that that rubbish oh look 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 at look at this look at this how the fuck are you supposed to survive that you know look how fast their bullets fire and more importantly how, how quickly you know you get hit multiple times by bullets and it's arrows it's not bullet, uh, bullets it's arrows you get hit multiple times by that and that really is not right come on at least give people a chance right so you're smashed over the head with one place one one place well placed what was the phrase with one well placed blow the skull was cleaved or something like that and see if you know what adventure game that came from yeah one play with one well placed blow the skull was cleaved i'm sure that's what they used to say Right, boars everywhere. Boars abound. Okay, let's go this way. And, you know, we, we literally landed on the boar then and lost life. So, yeah. Okay, there's a guard there. Let's watch him throw 200 bullets at me. Oh, look there. Right, okay, good. I'm happy. So, as much as, you know, this is not my favourite game, you know, there there is somebody new and more bullets, more bullets. That That's right. Let's just do that. And that that bloody purple guy disappeared into nowhere. Look at that. He was here. And then we go across here. And he vanished. And did he vanish into those bags of money? Notice British pounds and not Canadian dollars. Let's be very clear on here. And you know who I'm talking about. Right, so let's go down here. Another ball. We want to avoid that. So let's go right and see... Yeah, that purple guy, he literally vanished in Finna. I'm sure he didn't die, or, or he changed into loads of money. Uh, uh, you, you, you utter shitheads. You know, I'm stuck. You know, there's nothing I can do. Okay, you're gone. You're gone. Well, I can kill you, but look at that, my my health, my health is, oh my, right, no, the, the, I'm, I'm sorry, this game isn't fun, you know, nice tech demo that it is, you yeah, know, this would have been great for the, a code to sell to a publisher, um, to say, hey, look what I can do, but you know what, I'll be saying if I was that publisher, you know, regardless of the year, I'm not, I know this came out years ago, I know, it. right, okay, this is fine, now, please, make it into a game. You know, this it, it, this does not work for me. And th th this this uh, company, oh, oh, look a little bit more different stuff. So what is this? Oh, okay, yeah, I should have expected. We got shitloads of arrows coming up, but look at this. That's a bit different. But yeah, it's um, this is a tech demo in my view. Above anything else, you know, it, it can't be fairly classed as anything more than that. But we've got we, we've got that yellow wall to have a look at. Can we can we get to that yellow wall through any other way? and explore it from a different angle oh more arrows good we've picked up some arrows um you know i was so frustrated with uh what's going on here that i didn't even register that those were arrows on the ground i just thought it looked like some disappointing carrots um all right okay so let's go this way yeah we really can't do anything about that all right so we go across and maybe we can go oh up okay okay right so we're gonna let you turn around you hunk of poo got you all right wait for enemies just to uh, did you see that there was an enemy there on that screen just teleported in right on the left hand side shooting at us there there he is nah no not fun not fun at all not right and it doesn't make sense all right so we've been sent to jail i'm happy for that so we'll wait for a little bit so at least we're seeing a little bit more they could shoot their arrows to the heart's content and the piece of cock we start dead in jail. We were sent to jail. Why the hell did it shoot us? So this was a recommendation. This game was a recommendation to play. We will get games that I don't always enjoy. 
and this was one of them but i hope i hope all of you got something out of this video i hope all of you robin of the wood i hope you at least saw my frustration in playing it but did this one work for me no no it didn't odin software you have been so much better in the past and you are in the past because we're playing a game from the past but honestly this really really didn't work for me all of you stay safe all of you enjoy each other and i promise you i will never play this game again stay safe take care and i'll see you in the next video goodbye